All right, YouTube, today we got a Toshiba laptop, pretty beat up, but you know, I got it for free because my friends give me tech stuff that they don't use. So I'm gonna upgrade it and put it on the marketplace and make some cash off of it. Let me show you something. We're missing a key. I didn't, I didn't buy a key because, you know, I didn't really care. This is, I don't even know what this laptop is. Maybe a C55. I don't, who knows? I'm not familiar with Toshiba. But, you know, I cleaned it though. So it looks pretty nice except for the, uh, it's in rough shape. So, whatever. We're going to crack this puppy open and I'll be back when we got all the screws out. Alright guys, so I got all the screws out. Some look like they're still in here, but I think they're stripped. So, um, they're loose. I got them loosened, but it's not like the magnet won't pull it out, but it's fine. We're just going to crack this sucker open. Um, I think this will, yeah, this will just pull right out. DVD drive, CD drive. And then, you can just pry up from there. And I might need my trusty pry tool. So, that should make it quite a bit easier if it would stay in. Maybe I can do it on this side. There it goes. It's much easier. And then you just should be able to pull back on it in theory. All goes according to plan. There we go. <laughs> Say it don't spray, am I right? Um, I think a screw just came out. There's one of them. It's just kind of stuck in there. That one I remember did have a problem. Anyway, so this is what the inside looks like. We got the one, this single channel memory, because there's not two dim sticks, unless it's on the other side. I'm not pulling the whole motherboard to figure that out. Um, but, we got 8 gigs of memory. As you can see, I already pulled the hard drive out, because we're going to install this solid state drive. So, this is a 240 gigabyte Kingston solid state drive. Not a lot of storage, but for a Pentium... It's kind of like a Chromebook at this point, so you don't really need a lot of storage, I wouldn't imagine. Okay, so we're back. I got the Kingston SSD here. We're going to slap this sucker in. I had to run upstairs real quick because I was using this hard drive. This came out of the laptop originally, and it has this casing on it. So these are both 2.5 inch drives. So we're going to put this little thing on here even though we don't need it it would just help keep it in place considering this was made with this rubber uh, protector on the drive it will hold it in better okay let's just put this right there Kingston drive slip it in this sucker get back to full get in there okay so I think it's in this sleeve pretty well. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. So obviously it doesn't need this because it's not a spinning disc. But I think it will just help it fit in here better. Hopefully anyway. Alright. So, hard drive is installed. Our solid state drive. Now all we got to do is put this back in. Okay. Now we just put this casing back on, make sure it's pushed down all the way, okay, try and line that drive up, and then this battery just slides back in, and that is it, we'll be back when it's screwed in. Alright boys, so we got the uh, screws screwed back in to the computer so I got one more addition to this laptop what addition could that be now that it's screwed in already you ask well 
your boy here bought a charger because it didn't have a charger. So this upgrade may have been for not or whatever the terminology for that is because um, I'm not even sure if it works. So we'll go, why, why didn't that rip? Okay, we'll go through this together and see if this random Chinese third party charger I bought actually is worth the money. I don't even know if it will fit in the hole. So, it probably will, I don't know. Um, so we got this uh, twisty tie uh, doohanky there. Um, standard protocol, you know, um, per chargers. So we just uh, plug this sucker in here and we uh, let her eat, you know. Let her eat. Okay, so. <laughs> um, man, never seen a guy struggle so much with Velcro. Jeez, get off. Really? Okay. My God. Okay, so uh, what you do is you take this do hanky here and you plug this in like that. Okay. So then, oh my God, it works. Okay. Now the true test. So let's just say, been charging for the last thirty minutes. You know, as as a laptop should do. Power. It's making noise. The fan is on. <laughs> okay, so. Oh my god, we have transmission. Battery is low. Enter. Oh, frick. Bro, the, uh, the touch screen? No. Okay, so. I think the CMOS battery might be dead, but that might be because I pulled the, the power right out. CMOS won't have juice, so. Set time and date. Oh heck yeah, right in the BIOS. We got a Pentium R N or oh that's Intel R. Pentium uh N3530 Kingston SSD, it's recognized. We got the 8 gigs of RAM. We might need to update the BIOS. That is a 1.3. <laughs> okay, so we I think this laptop came out in 2014. That would just be a guess. But today is 12, some, come on, num locks on, okay, oh, <laughs> really, what kind of stupid BIOS is this, okay, 12, what's the date, the 5th, no, it's the 10th, I was 5 days off, okay, alright, we got the date, system time, uh, 9.54, thanks, Kadonk. Okay, seconds is fine, it will figure it out. Security. Oh, secure boot, yes. Power management. Mm. Oh, Intel Turbo Boost, yeah, keep that on. Yeah, keep it on performance mode. This thing is a slow laptop. Advance. Yes, we want virtualization on. Change boot or system configuration. Okay. Exit, save changes. Yes. Now it's time for the fun part to load the Windows operating system. We could put Linux on it, but uh, who wants to buy a laptop with Linux? Y'all are nerds. Alright? So we're putting Windows on this biatch. got the oh I wonder where that went okay we got the USB you know to boot in the windows yeah that USB port is rusty mate what in the hell look at that okay we'll use the 2.0 unless we got a 3 on this side ew okay we'll use this side all right, and we should probably restart this. 
All right, we'll do it your way, computer. Bruh. Cow Shaber. Leading innovation with the Pantium. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back in Windows. Wait, can I pause it over there? Yeah. So we press to install, alright? It is starting up the starting. I mean set up the set up is starting. <laughs> God. Alright. I mean who would have thought, you know? <laughs> Sorry, I'm a little hyper. I, I haven't been able to work on a computer in a while. Hey, it's doing stuff. Alright, so. Just accept this here license. Y'all know how to set up windows. Okay, so see? It recognizes. Ball cam. <laughs> Ball cam. It recognizes the drive. Right there. So we press enter. And then we just let it do its thing. We'll be back when it's done, Captain. Moving on. Alright guys, we got Windows 10 installed. Here it is. Got it updated. And we got all of the drivers installed. Ta -da. So, there it is. This thing's ready to be sold, boys. Peace! <laughs>